This is an attack on mental health care and access to mental health care. And we cannot stand by and let this happen in our communities all throughout New York State. Both the CDC and the New York State Department of Health have acknowledged the growing mental health pandemic happening before our very eyes. Is it a surprise to any of us that mental illness, addiction, and overdoses have gotten worse as a result of COVID? No. We're here about to see another pending disaster. Um, for constantly shutting psych beds, we are putting our community in a position where we are neglecting their care and mental health care is health care. What you saw on our subway system, when individuals stab poor people, it is because of the closing of our psychiatric beds throughout this entire city. Psychiatric patients have been forgotten, they have been ignored, they've been disrespected, they've been underfunded for too long. Under the auspices of COVID-19, New York Presbyterian was able to shut down this unit without going through the normal regulatory channels. Even before COVID-19, the Treatment Advocacy Center said that New York only had 52% of the beds we need to treat folks with serious mental illness. And now in the middle of this global pandemic, we're witnessing the closure of inpatient mental health services from the Hudson Valley to Long Island to all over the five boroughs. This is not the answer. We cannot balance out the needs of COVID um, at the expense of people with psychiatric needs. If there were ever a time to take a healthcare approach to psychiatric emergencies so that we don't have to take a policing and incarceration approach, this is that time. Actually, in New York State, more mental health care is provided for in our jails and prisons than in our hospitals. And that is unacceptable. I don't know how we're saying amazing things are happening when we can reopen all other services across the enterprise, but continue to keep psych services closed. We'll be at Methodist, we'll be at Allen, we'll be at Kingston. We will not rest until the people who suffer from mental illness, from anxiety, from all of the ills that afflict us, particularly this time period, until they get healthcare justice because they deserve it just like anybody else. Healthcare justice for all.